all right hey you guys welcome back to tia tv and today we're going to be checking my bc cpa exam results so let's go ahead and tune into tia tv and look at these scores nasba released the cpa exam results uh november 4th uh at 8 p.m central so that was last night for me so i have not looked at my scores yet i'm actually quite nervous to look at my scores just because of how i felt after taking the exam i'm actually about to look at them before i start studying for far today so it's probably not good i probably should look at them after like at the end of today but i'm just go ahead look at them and just see my results then figure out how to move forward if it's bad news if it's good news then whew. but let's go ahead and check my results you guys if I remember my email and password um, but let's see okay. Ooh. what is the name of the partner hmm I don't remember what I put for that answer I'm logged on. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, uh, okay. To so just look. All right, y'all ready to see? Wow. So I didn't pass. Um, I needed a 75 to pass, and I got a 72. Um. So yeah, um, I got a 72 and I needed a 75. Um, I'm gonna go cry off camera. Um, I don't know how I'm going to move forward because I'm studying for FAR right now. And I plan on taking FAR um, January 3rd. When I start work um, the first week of January during busy season, and so I know I won't be able to stay there or do anything during busy season. So I don't know if I'm going to just move to taking BEC last. And then just after I take FAR, focus on reg. Or after I take FAR, should I go back to BEC? I really don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I am highly looking into buying Ninja. Just because of how I felt about Becker. But I actually did... I mean, I failed, but I I did better than I thought I was, I guess. Because, like, I was guessing a lot on that exam. And just to know that I was so freaking close. Um, but, yeah, you guys, um, that's pretty much it. I, don't, um, I did not pass BC. Um. 72 so i needed a 75 and i'm gonna go study for far right now and cry my life away yeah um so this is disappointing i'm disappointed in myself because i really like tried and i was like really confident um when i was like taking my exam like even though like it was super duper hard i didn't like give up which is like something I feel like I would do. Like I would stress, I would panic during my exam, but I didn't do that on this exam. And so I guess I could say I'm grateful for that, but um, looks like I'll be taking BEC again. I'm a little hurt, I am. And not to mention, this exam is super freaking expensive. You know, paying over $200 for each exam. You know, the exam is over $200. Then you have to pay for, like, your eligibility application. You know, your uh, notice to schedule and all of that. Like, it's just so expensive. So, just having to, like, when you fail an exam, paying for everything all over again. It's just like, well, now I know where my money is about to go to. The freaking CPA exam. Like, you know, so. That's one thing. If you have any advice for me, definitely let me know. Uh, any encouraging words, because this is so discouraging. Um, the CPA exam is discouraging overall. I feel like I can hear like my voice is like so much of disappointment. 
and I'm really trying uh, to keep it together right now. Um, I just keep looking at this 72, y'all. So close, so, so, so freaking close. Like, now I know how it feels to get like a freaking close to a 75 and just like, I have to study all over again. I have to take it all over again. I really hope I pass far on the first time because far is a beast and I do not want to have to retake far. Um, it's sad, but you know, y'all continue to follow along with my journey and see how I continue to deal my exams. Um, especially when I transitioned to working and studying for the CPA exam. I just feel like it was just like a waste of time like i've like didn't work or nothing i'm just studying and i still didn't pass but i just have to know it's not in my faith like it's not my plan it's god's plan and i just have to continue to walk on his path and just whatever he has for me is that's what i have to go on uh but yeah you guys so um, i didn't pass um Thank you. If you've been watching along and following my journey so far, thank you. And I hope that you continue to watch my journey. You know, I'm definitely not going to be one of those, I guess you say, motivational YouTubers that's like, oh, I passed the CPA exam in six months. Like, you can do it too. No. <laughs> um, it's going to be a struggle journey for me. And, you know, when I finally do make it, you know, that's all. This is going to be worth it. So thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.